everybody, it is the one, the only two fast to last. And I was bored, so I thought maybe we could do a creepy pasta. And if you're a fan of Pokemon, then this may be an insult to you, but it's not an insult to me because I like Pokemon. But let's get started. It's uh, about the Pokemon Black creepy pasta. And how are we going? All right. Well, there's a picture of the cartridge. I'll put that on the screen, and it's black. And it has a Pokemon label on it with no picture, which is weird. Uh, that was just the beginning, I thought I'd say that. But the, when you start the game, you see the familiar Nidorino and Gengar, Tinder, into the intro of Red and Blue version. However, the start button, start screen, has been altered. Red was, Trainer Red was there, but the Pokemon did not cycle through. It also said Black version under the Pokemon logo. logo. Upon selecting game, the game started the Professor Oak speech, and it quickly became evident that the game was essentially Pokemon Red version. After selecting, selecting your starter, to look at your Pokemon, you had an addition to Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirtle, another Pokemon, Ghost. As all of you know, if you actually went to Lavender Town, and you got the Silphscope from whatever, uh, when Team Rocket took over the place, that, that, that's what I was making them, whatever. Um, go, you'd actually have to have it to get to the next part. You'd have to identify the Cubone's mom, and it's, and you have to, like, beat Team Galactic out of there, and then you have to save, um, the guy, some old guy. I think he gives you the Pokemon suit, and you wake up some relax. But, continuing, the Pokemon was level one. Had the sprite of ghosts that are counted in Lavender Town, like I said earlier, before obtaining the self scope. Had one attack, Curse. I know that there's a real name, real move named Curse, Attack did not exist in Generation 1, so it appears it was hacked in. The pending, defending Pokemon were unable to attack Ghost, so it only say they were too scared to move. When the move Curse was used in battle, the screen would cut the black. Prior to the defending Pokemon would be heard, but it was distorted, playing at much lower pitch than normal. The battle screen would then reappear, and the defending Pokemon would be gone. If he was in the battle against the trainer, when the Pokeballs representing their Pokemon would appear in the corner, they'd have one fear Pokemon ball. Pokeball, which is, I think that's pretty creepy. Um, I would probably get rid of the game as soon as I could, because if I lost, like, lost a level 100 Ch Charizard, I'd just kill myself. The implication of that was that the Pokemon died. What's even stranger is that after defeating a trainer and seeing Red had received $200 for winning, the all commands would appear again. If you selected run, the battle would end as it normally does. You could also select Curse. If you did, upon returning to the overworld, Trainer Sprite would be gone to leaving and re-entering the area. The spot where the trainer had been would be replaced with a tombstone like the ones at Lavender Town. Basically saying that the trainer you just killed with Curse instead of doing run, uh, basically died. And there's a tombstone, which is creepy and crap. And if none of you know what a Sprite is, it's like the Pokemon, like what the Pokemon looks like when you, um, or in a battle in front of you. Okay, the move Curse was not usable in all instances. It would fail against Ghost Pokemon. It would also fail if it was used against trainers that you would have to face again, such as your rival Giovanni. It was usable f in your final battle against them, however. That makes sense, because Ghost Pokemon are already dead, so you just kill it over again, but you can't really kill it over again. Giovanni, if you know, you know he's the team, is the owner of Team Rocket in Pokemon Red and Blue. In Green, I think. I'm not sure if... I'm not, I don't know much about Green, but I know everything about Red and Blue. I figured this was a gimmick of the game, allowing you to previously to use the previously captured bold ghost. And because Curse made the game so easy, I essentially used it throughout the whole game adventure. The game changed quite a bit after defeating the LE4. After revealing the whole thing, which consisted of ghosts and a couple of very underleveled Pokemon, screen cut black. A box appeared with the words many years later, and cut the Lavender Tower, which is Pokemon Tower. No man was standing, looking at tombstones. You realize this man was your character. Like, as all you know, um, <clears throat> the hundreds of tombstones in Lavender Town, which were creepy. The man moved on at only half your normal walking speed, because he's an old man. Common sense. No longer had any Pokemon with you, not even Ghost, who up to this point had been possible to remove from your party through depositing it in the PC, so you can let it go, you can deposit it in the PC, which is kind of scary. The overworld was entirely empty, there were no people at all, so you killed everybody, that's kind of scary. 
There are still tombstones of the trainers who used curse on, however. You could pretty much go anywhere through the overworld at this point, but your power was limited by the fact that you had no Pokemon to use HMs, such as Fly, Cut, Flash. Well, Flash, you can you don't really need it. And regardless of where you went, the music of Lavender Down continued on an infinite loop, playing over and over. After wandering for a while, you find that if you go through Diglett's Cave, one of the cuttable bushes that normally blocks the path on the other side is no longer there. We need to advance and return to Pallet Town, which is the starting town. Upon entering your house and going to the exact tile where you started the game, the screen would cut to black. Then a sprite of Caterpie would appear. It was replaced by a Weedle and then a Pidgey. I soon realized as the Pokemon progressed from Rattata the Blastoise, and these are all Pokemon I used Curse on. So you basically seeing all Pokemon that you killed with Curse, which is sad. <clears throat> After the end of my Rebels team, a Youngster appeared, and then a Bug Catcher. These were the trainers I'd cursed. Throughout this sequence, Lavender Town music was playing, but it was slowly decreasing my pitch. By the time your rival appeared on the screen, it was a little bit more than a demonic rumble. Another cut to black. A few moments later, well, battle screen suddenly appeared. The trainer sprite was now that of an old man. Same one as who teaches you how to catch Pokemon in Viridian City. Ghosts appeared on the other side, along with the words, Ghost wants to fight. You couldn't use items, and you had no Pokemon. If you tried to run, you couldn't escape. The only option was fight. Using fight would immediately cause you to struggle, which didn't affect Ghost, but would chip off a bit of your own HP. When it was Ghost's turn to attack, you would simply say, dot dot dot, as Trainer Red says. Eventually, when your HP reached a critical point, Ghost would finally use Curse when Ghost do 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 that annoying sound. Spring cut to black phone time. Regardless of the buttons you press, you're permanently stuck in this black screen. At this point, the only thing you could do was turn the Game Boy off. When you played again, new game was the only option. The game, the game you just had played, you pretty much had to wipe the file, which kind of sucks. And when I think about this, this is pretty sketch skeptical, I guess I would say. I would never play this. I'd probably pee myself before I got 10 feet in, knowing what would happen. If I didn't know what happened, uh, then I'd play it like a noob. I wouldn't even research it unless I had to know how to do something. But knowing that there's a Pokemon called Ghost that you start out with, that... Uh, it's a bit scary. I mean, really, like, Ghost, uh... I haven't really found Ghost that awesome because he annoys you when he uses Psybeam and stuff. I think he uses it, I'm not sure. He's psychic on you, and that's just really annoying. And as you heard, I said, um, Curse a lot because that was um, his main move. Curse is actually not in first generation, which is red and blue and green, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not really good at Pokemon names. And this game, I would, it's really interesting, actually. Like, it's not scary, but the guy who came up with this creepypasta has a really good mind. Like, that's just the most creativity I've ever read. My mind and my life is complete. But thanks for watching, guys. If you want me to do more creepypastas, then... Put a comment in the comment section down below and f feel free to do whatever you want to my video. Criticize it, I don't care. And I'll put the link to the creepypasta in the description below. And thanks for watching, guys. I love you all, and you're our Beastie Boys. Peace.